All right, well. It's um, the evening of Thursday, May 25, 7.08 p.m. Eastern Time now. So I want to encourage my followers who are in my uh, Instagram DM group chats to watch and listen to the video messages that I had put I had that I have put into the group chats recently. <clears throat> Actually, quite a lot over the past uh, several days, um, including uh, five last night and ten earlier today. So, please do that. Um, please uh, read my Facebook posts. The link to my Facebook profile is in my bio info on my Instagram pages. Please search on YouTube uh, for videos uh, of mine from me, by me, also of Frank Jamison. Uh, Frank, videos of Frank Jamison or by him. There are videos about myself and Frank Jameson on YouTube at other YouTube channels besides mine and his. You can search for my name or his name or both to find uh, my several smaller uh, YouTube channels. I had a bigger one a couple of years ago and I have several small YouTube channels now. You can find those to find uh, <clears throat> many of my more recent videos of myself on YouTube. <clears throat> you can also uh, should be able to easily find Frank Jameson's YouTube channel only one of uh, you know many that he has had at least several before his current one and then a few months ago he actually deleted most of his videos on his even his current YouTube channel so I want to encourage you all to listen uh, to uh, my videos and watch my videos on YouTube. I have several small channels now. Um, also, watch and listen to Frank Jameson's own videos. You know, his own posts and his own videos of himself stand on their own merit or not. If what he says and represents of himself makes sense, they can be seen and known for that. If what he says and represents of himself uh, does not make sense and they can be seen and known for that just as well whether it's videos or posts or anything of him and from him any of his posts whether there's written posts or videos of himself they do in fact stand on their own merit or lack thereof okay um, so read my posts on Instagram watch my videos on Instagram I have been a lot less active on Instagram for quite a while now uh, again my Facebook posts are are very important and more essential I have been very active on Facebook for um, you know more than a year now um, and that's because I can post a lot long the, the, my posts on Facebook can be a lot longer there they really can be my posts on Facebook are able to be a lot longer, and so I make use of that there. I have many posts, uh, many long posts on my Facebook profile. And, um, and, and, uh, and most of them are relevant. At least many of them are relevant and pertinent to my conflict with Frank Jameson of Michigan. Frank William Jameson of Michigan and apparently he no longer resides within the state of within uh, Farmington Hills, Michigan, but he reasonably probably really does still live in the state of Michigan even though it probably is not in Farmington Hills, Michigan anymore. So I ask that you all <laughs> read my Facebook posts, uh, my many long uh, relevant and pertinent Facebook posts um for more than a year uh i've had uh you know even uh 
I got my uh, current Facebook post. I had an older Facebook account before this current one, um, but um, this current uh, Facebook account and profile I now have and have been active on, uh, very active on, for about a year and a half now. Um, I uh, started that in, in about the middle of the summer of, or, uh, you know, uh, about the about the summer of 2021. So I have had that, uh, my current Facebook account, um, for over a year and a half now. I want to encourage people to read my many long Facebook posts. I have many long Facebook posts for well over a year, for probably about a year, at least, you know, uh, at least a year and a half, uh, about a year and a half. And so, read my Instagram uh, posts. You will find um, that. Uh, this account at Lawrence underscore a underscore Connor is a relatively new account with not as many uh, posts starting from as long ago as some of my other accounts at Lawrence dot a dot Connor has a lot more account posts than this specific specific account you can also find <clears throat> more numbers of posts that start from longer ago at both at Miranda dot Oceana Instagram account and also at Ashley Argoda 6 Instagram account. I had other Instagram accounts that were deleted like at Lawrence Albert Connor or at Jamie Beeman fans or the original at my Randy Cumgrove which I had changed to at Miranda Oceana without the dot um, but uh, ones that still are up that have uh, the oldest and the largest number of posts of mine still on Instagram now. Again, at Ashley Argota6 um, as the Instagram account of mine that has the largest number of posts that start from longer ago, longest ago. And um, after that, at Miranda.Oceana also. So uh really my facebook posts for anyone who you know has a good enough reading comprehension and has the patience and the time that they can spend on it and uh, i don't you know it, it doesn't have to be anything more than you know one post at a time that could be you know not necessarily every day maybe once or twice or three times a week read one of my long posts on my Facebook account. I have many, many long, very long Facebook posts on my Facebook account and profile link in bio that I have posted for well over a year, about a year and a half now. My my The link to my Facebook account and profile is in the uh, bio info on my Instagram account pages for my main eight, eight, Instagram accounts. I have others. Search for my name and Frank Jameson's name on YouTube to watch my videos of me. Also his videos. Uh, look for Frank Jameson's accounts here on Instagram to look at his posts. At, whether they are written posts or his videos. Again, same thing. His own posts, whether they're written or his own videos of himself what he says, what he represents of himself, stands on its own merit or lack thereof. What you know, the way what he presents of himself and represents of himself stands on its own merit or lack thereof. If what he says and represents of himself makes sense, people will be able to and can know it for what it is or not. If what he represents of himself and says does not make sense, you can know it for that too, if and when that is true as well. There is no such thing as pointing people in the direction of and pointing out his social media accounts such as Instagram accounts or YouTube channels equals automatically that is an attack unless that is presented in simply pointing out what his accounts are like giving the link to his youtube channel just to say you can go there and watch his own videos for yourself 
Yeah, that's not an attack. Or pointing out his uh, Instagram account, uh, whether, you know, you know, giving his at username, like one of his main ones now is at Devil's Candy 313, or maybe Devil's, at Devil's Candy Records 313, something like that. And I say, you can just go there and see his post, see his own posts for yourself. Watch his own videos for yourself. Again, that's not an attack. His own posts and videos of himself, the what he represent, what he presents of himself and represents of himself, stands on its own merit or lack thereof. That's not an attack. Frank Jameson does what he does willfully, and many times repeatedly for eight years now. I told, started telling him to stop harassing me long ago in the year 2015. When it already started to be actionable criminally against him, he was arrested in 2015. It started to be actionable <coughs> criminally against him in the year 2015 with the, the, the smaller amount, much less of harassment and threats that he gave to me only within the year 2015. He was arrested in November 2015. There was an arraignment on January 7th, uh, uh, 7th, uh, 7th uh, 2016 uh, that's a pretrial hearing there was a court date and a trial only for a misdemeanor charge of harassment in January 2016 on January 28th that I couldn't not I could not get there for the detective and the prosecutor there in Farmington Hills dropped the ball on me and failed me uh, that was detective Chad double of Farmington Hills uh, Police Department and uh, Prosecutor Stephen Meads. I could not get there, um, and um, but you see the disposition, the disposition of that court case uh, in in Farmington, Michigan, um, District Forty Seven, on January twenty eighth, two thousand sixteen, was that it was thrown out of court without prejudice. That makes a big difference. That makes the difference. Without prejudice, it means. That does not preclude going after the same criminal charges in the future, never mind additional future instances, repeated added instances of offenses that have occurred each and every year since then. So Frank Jameson has always been in the wrong. He has never been in the right. I started telling him to stop harassing me long ago in the year 2015. He is not free to disregard that and to be regarded or to ignore that and to be regarded as blameless or faultless. Okay. He does what he does willfully. Personal responsibility. Uh, Frank Jameson beats the system. The system acts and treats him as if he is beneath the law. That is not right. That is not okay that Frank Jameson beats the system. And nobody should be above the law, and nobody should be beneath the law either. So Frank Jameson has things that he says, and in, in his mentally defective attempt at giving excuses or justifications for himself, which do not equate to, and do not equal, that the case between himself and myself should be dismissed out of hand and ignored. But his uh, attempts, his mentally uh, defective attempts at excuses and justifications still mean that the conflict between himself and myself really should only rightly be investigated thoroughly through to conclusion. If what he says is right about me, it all should be investigated as well, not just for my claims against him, but also for his claims against me. In no case should this case of the conflict between myself and Frank Jameson a long-standing and publicly visible conflict should be rightly dismissed out of hand but it should be rightly investigated through to conclusion as I can withstand the scrutiny of an investigation and Frank Jameson cannot withstand the scrutiny of an investigation. He does what he does willfully, repeatedly, in multiple repeated instances each and every year for the past eight years since the early part of the year 2015. Eight years now. 
He has no excuse. There is no moral equivalence to this conflict. There is clear-cut right and wrong to this conflict. Personal responsibility. Does it apply to Frank Jameson? Yes or no? Do all the laws that apply to all of the rest of us not apply to Frank Jameson? Can you answer that? It is not okay that this case is also ignored either for my fighting back with him. I do have the right to stand my ground online. No one should have to endure it or ignore it or let him get away with it. Also, Frank Jameson actually is legally a mental defective legally as used in federal law in the Gun, Gun Control Act of 1968. Also, the terminology for the meaning of terms of having been adjudicated as a mental defective is also defined within a pertinent section of the Code of Federal Regulations, which is also another body of federal law. Frank Jameson does, in fact, violate U.S. Code Federal Law for Interstate Communications and Harassment in U.S. Code Title 18 U.S. Code Section 875 Subsection C of Interstate Communications, the same federal law that Anthony Alonis was convicted of for giving written threats on Facebook only in writing and even with the disclaimer that they were only rap lyrics and he served approximately four years in federal prison for it. And the other things involved in the subsections and different subsections of that section of United States Code, Title 18 U.S. Code, Section 875 Interstate Communications, are all separated by the word OR. So all of them do not have to apply, only one of them has to apply. It does not have to also have to involve extortion or kidnapping or something of equal value. Anthony Alonis was convicted of giving threats, period. Kidnapping was not involved. Extortion was not involved. Frank James does what he does knowingly and willing, willfully. He gives excuses or justifications. He tries to defend himself against it. He believes I violated the law. Also, in, in terms of uh, one particular MCL, Michigan law, had, that he has posted, which he believes that I have violated, and I have not, but he has. Hello? Hello? What, what sounds uh, funny. Uh, I thought I heard an echo. So he believes that I violate a certain section of Michigan compiled law, MCL. Strangely, he believes that I violated it. He, he was pointing out the part where if someone kills themselves, then that would make it the more, more serious crime uh, resulting in a 10-year sentence. He's talking in the present tense about himself being alive and if he kills himself. Okay, that brings... His suicide uh, gestures are exactly that. Overt suicidal gestures. They are fake, mani manipulative, and toxic. His overt suicidal gestures are fake. They are toxic and they are manipulative. That goes along with him being a narcissist. He is a mental defective legally by federal law. He is a narcissist by his behavior. He does have mental illness, but mental illness and insanity legally are different things. A, per, a, he, a person who is mentally ill might undergo an examination, a psychiatric examination, to determine if they are mentally competent to stand trial. Frank Jameson has a 2012 conviction for felony weapons offenses. He wasn't the deemed mentally incompetent to stand trial then. Okay. Frank Jimson is a convicted felon for two weapons offenses in St. Clair County, Michigan in the year 2012. Date of offense within January of 2012. Uh, the court date was within November of 2012. Two felony weapons offenses uh, convictions by plea deal. He was mentally competent. He wasn't. He was not deemed mentally competent, not unable to stand trial. He was not deemed not mentally competent to stand trial. Frank Jameson, by his own posted pictures and videos from years ago that I had seen, and his own talk of himself, revealed that he does have uh, mental health treatment by CNS Community Network Services in Michigan. 
I had found out from his father that it indeed was court-ordered mental health treatment. That it was court-ordered psychiatric treatment. I found that out from talking to Frank's father two times only in the year 2015. Early in 2015, a long conversation of at least 20 minutes and possibly up to one and a half an hour that I did not record. I recorded a phone call be between myself and Frank's father, Bill Jameson, real name William Lawrence Jameson of Taylor, Michigan. Uh, in June of um, 2015, I believe that was on June 23rd of 2015, I had that call recorded. Um, so Frank James does what he does knowingly and, and willfully. He, he does it willfully, definitely. He, he wants to be win and right against me, against the case against myself. He defends himself. He um, flaunts getting away with it. He has exhibited the attitude of he he does not care he does not give a damn he does not give a shit he does not give a fuck he has flaunted that he gets away with giving me threats he flaunts it he has posted faked evidence of me to try to frame me as a pedophile and child molester and and a uh, child predator he definitely did not ever limit himself to only saying that I look like or act like a child predator he has definitely used more specific language of pedophile child molester and also sex offender he claimed in 2015 before i made a lawrence albert connor profile on facebook that i would never reveal my true identity but then i did right after that and then he said it did not matter except that i had not been caught yet he had interfered with my legitimate and valid and legitimate small webmaster uh, interests and my associations with then years ago young up and coming coming female sim singer from California um, in the LA area named Jamie Beeman who no longer is trying to be a performer she is married and lives in Oklahoma and has a kid her mother and Jamie her herself Jamie and her mother Joy Beeman knew about me and my activity and were okay with my web small webmaster activities in the hopes that she would get famous someday. Frank Jimson interfered with that. Having fake profiles in and of itself means nothing. It's no crime. It's not anything in and of itself. I did nothing inappropriate between myself and this young TJ guy who used to live in New Jersey, now living in Texas, Guillermo Javier Avalon Jr. Everything that Frank does is he's a totally tar toxic, narcissistic, mentally defective narcissist who does pathological lying, psychological projection, blame shifting, shame shifting, gaslighting, playing the, playing the victim falsely. Uh, okay, crazy and criminal are not the same. Crazy does not equal criminal. Nuts does not equal oops. There are four court rulings. People are familiar with guilty and not guilty. There is also not guilty by reason of insanity. Many people have heard that one. Much less familiar and much less commonly known of is guilty but mentally ill. Now, whether Frank Jameson is insane legally or not, he would still be a candidate for and is, er, has earned and is worthy and deserving of losing his freedom in one way or another. People think that if, if a person is illegally insane as, as, as a result of, of trying to do that or, or if it's genuine and really true uh, in response to a criminal uh, case of some serious offense then they just walk free scot free false a criminally insane person a legally insane person still loses their freedom you idiots they become an involuntarily committed psychiatric patient okay frank does what he does willfully he knows he beats the system it's, it is not okay that Frank Jameson beats the system. It is not okay that the, the criminal justice system treats Frank Jameson as if he is beneath the law. Nuts does not equal oops. Crazy does not equal criminal. 1%. 1% of the general population overall is a serious criminal. 1% of persons who have serious mental illness are serious uh, criminal offenders also they are different things they just are separate things mental illness and 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 being a, a criminal 
So, if a crazy person commits a criminal offense, they're going to get, they should deserve and earn and deserve a punishment, not for being crazy, but because of the criminal offense part. If a person is crazy and does not commit a criminal offense, you know why they're not being punished? Because they did not commit a criminal offense. People get these things, two things, different things mixed up as if they're the same thing. So when a crazy person commits a crime, people think they're being, people wrongly and foolishly think they're being punished only because they're crazy wrong they're being punished because they committed a crime frank knows he beats the system it simply costs more and they, the system only wants to do it in the most serious cases of when a crazy person commits a crime you know what also is true a lot of very small offenses that are are traffic are, are misdemeanors or less Farmington Hills Police Department had no qualms about bringing a misdemeanor criminal charge against Frank Jameson because that's only a bench trial in front of a judge. It's not a jury trial. The problem is if it's a low if it's a low fel felony charge, then it becomes more difficult, and they don't they don't want to do that so much against a, a crazy person. Okay. So this case is also more difficult that the system does not want to deal with or, or handle which isn't the same thing as by right that they don't care about it. Internet threats, they don't care about them anymore unless uh, unless there's an important person involved and so on because internet threats have gotten uh, only gone up many uh, much over the, over the years. Okay, they don't want to discourage similar cases. Internet threats are something they care about only if and they want if and when they want to, few and far between at their own choosing, not your choosing as the victim. Okay? So inter it's interstate. It would cost a lot more because of that. That's another. That's another big reason that they don't care about it. And he's crazy. That's another big reason that they don't care about it. Combine them all together, and Frank Jameson gets away with it, even though he shouldn't. Okay. It is not that this case is rightly being ignored. It's that this case is wrongly being ignored. Okay. It's not that this case is not worthy of being rightly uh, recognized and addressed properly. It's that the system itself, the criminal justice system, is not worth it to do it rightly and properly to rightly and properly uh, recognize and address the system. Frank Jameson does not rightly evade justice. Frank Jameson wrongly evades justice. Crazy does not equal criminal. Nuts does not equal oops. Frank Jameson knows what he does is wrong. He does not care. And... He just wants to get away with it. When other people, you know, give him too much slack and cut cut too much slack for him, give him too much leeway and let too much slide, they are allowing for him to believe he is right and has won. He never learns the lesson he got away with doing wrong, that he should not do it again. He feels that that's the right limits, that he can continue to do to harass other people, even when they're death threats. So... If people let him get away without you're letting him feel he's right and has won, he you're playing a part in reinforcing the wrong boundaries as if they are the right boundaries. You're playing a part in helping to create the monster that he is. All of that is true, and it should not be true by right about what should be done by right. So I want to uh, encourage my followers in my in my group chats to watch all the uh, video messages I put in there recently, a lot in the past several days, including five from last night and ten from earlier today. I want everyone to go to my Facebook profile and account and read my many long pertinent uh, Facebook posts over uh, the past year and a half at least. Search uh, for my name, or Frank Jameson's name, on YouTube to watch uh, both of our videos. Read uh, and 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 go over both my 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 posts and Frank Jameson's posts here on Instagram. Go over the uh, social media accounts, both of mine and the posts or the videos of mine, and also of Frank Jameson's. What Frank Jameson presents of himself and represents of himself can stand on their own merit or lack thereof. I don't want you to just look at my posts and watch my videos. You can uh, review all of uh, the available uh, posts and videos of Frank Chims and of himself and by himself. He still has several Instagram accounts up. 
um, in addition to his YouTube channel, which is going to be easy to find. And then there again, I remind you that he deleted most, the majority of his YouTube videos from even his current uh, YouTube account a few months ago. One of his current uh, Instagram accounts is at Devil's Candy Records 313 or at Devil's Candy 313. I believe it's at Devil's Candy Records 313 as well as some others if you search for Frank Jameson in Instagram for people or users. So search for YouTube. I have several small YouTube accounts. Um, um, the lists of the videos on my several YouTube accounts are, are not all exactly the same. Some are on some channels and some are not on other channels. So be thorough in, in looking for them and looking through them because a few of my videos are o only on maybe one or two or three of my YouTube channels instead of a few additional ones that still are there. Please go over my Instagram uh, accounts, posts, watch all the the videos of, of me and by me and from me on, on YouTube. Also Frank Jameson's videos. Go over Frank Jameson's, in, 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 Frank Jameson's Instagram accounts. Please read my many long uh, Facebook posts. Frank Jameson is also on Facebook. You can find him. So this is not a joke. This case is worthy of being uh, recognized and addressed properly instead of being dismissed out of hand. It's not a joke. I don't want people to harass Frank Jameson. I have never asked for anyone to harass Frank Jameson. I have never told anyone to harass Frank Jameson. I am asking you all now to not harass Frank Jameson, which includes calling him a schizo. Or taunting him about his med psych meds. Do not do those. I have uh, put out before that it is not all right to treat Frank Jameson as a spectacle, like a freak in a circus freak show for your amusement or entertainment. That is not all right to do that. The youngins they call this thing that phenomenon. Um, when they treat someone as a lol cow, L O L C O W. I don't know why, but that's that's what that is. And uh, I have always wanted this conflict between myself and Frank Jameson to be dealt with properly. I have tried to do so a number of time over a number of times over the years. They give me a brush off and a, and a shove off after that initial time. Um, that I wrongly went to sort of the wrong jurisdiction of it's 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 actually Frank Jameson breaks the law both in Michigan Michigan law and Virginia law when he commits harassment serious harassment and also threats and death threats over the internet it's not one or the other places it's both places that he breaks the law but uh, after that initial time in um, for Farmington Hills Police in 2015 I have tried in other ways whether that's um, Virginia um, Beach Police, Virginia State Police, or the FBI, um, and Frank Jameson also violates a a felony law here in Virginia, uh, Section eighteen point two dash sixty threats, and some further terminology on the name of that section of Virginia Code annotated. Section 18.2-60, it is a felony and has a possible maximum sentence of five years, but it pertains mainly only to threats in writing, which uh, sometimes he has uh, communicated threats in writing. Uh, often they're only in spoken in videos, but sometimes uh, there, have, uh, there has not been a total absence of threats in writing, but that's a strange thing about that section of Virginia Code annotated. For threats that uh, it mainly needs to be in writing except for very specific cases that it further defines within that law so this is not a joke it's not a joke the case is worthy and deserving of being properly recognized and addressed instead of being ignored and dismissed out of hand wrongly 
This case is not uh, ignored rightly, it's ignored wrongly. Frank Jameson does not evade justice rightly, he evades justice wrongly. And uh, <clears throat> it is not okay that Frank Jameson beats the system, it is not okay that the system treats Frank Jameson as if he is beneath the law. Nobody should be above the law and nobody should be beneath the law either. <clears throat> Justice is blind, but it should not be deaf and dumb too. I can't withstand the scrutiny of an investigation and Frank Jameson cannot withstand the scrutiny of an investigation. He believes that I am the one who's harassing him or he declares me to be a child predator publicly. Have at it. The case should not be ignored out of this, this, this case obviously should not be dismissed out of hand. He wants to be right and to be and to win. He he switches from giving threats to others to threatening to kill himself. That's toxic and manipulative and fake because his threats to kill himself are overt suicidal gestures. He has done it often with threats to overdose on his psych meds, which cannot kill him. There are certainly other ways that it could be done. This is a known way of him doing it. He p publishes it. He broadcasts it and publishes it for the attention. That's another reason. He has done it many times. That's another reason. He has, he has done it many times publicly posting about it and broad broadcasting it in his own publicly uh, disseminated and available and accessible posts on his social media. That's making it known, putting it out there as a show. That's another reason. Doing it by ways that can are not lethal is another reason. All of the, there are a, a, at least a few different elements or factors which 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 mark it and indicate it and define what he does as overt suicidal gestures, fake, toxic, manipulative. Mental illness and insanity are different things. Even if he is insane legally, he really needs to be dealt with that as well. It's also a loss of freedom. He has had many chances to catch himself and correct himself. He has repeatedly failed that. If he lacks the sense and the self-awareness and the self-control from... To, he, if, he, if he lacks the sense and self-awareness and self-control... To be able to comply with the law, but instead he is unable to refrain from violating the law. That's a person who deserves the consequences as provided for by law. This is an unresolved conflict between himself and myself that no one should have to endure or ignore or let him get away with as provided for by law. And see it through to conclusion as provided for by law. It's already started to be a strong enough case against him criminally in the year 2015 with the much less harassment and threats that he gave to me only then within that year. The case, is only, the case has only gotten stronger against him each and every year since then because each and every year since then he has committed additional, repeated additional instances of the same or similar offenses. There's absolutely no sense to it that is only in the past or that anyone should have to ignore or endure or let him get away with it or forget about it. It makes no sense. The nature of conflict is that it becomes adversarial with animosity and enmity. enmity. If you were on the receiving end of, of Frank Jameson's hatred and hostile and harmful garbage that some people believe you would have that same animosity and enmity toward him other people won't understand it it's not oops nuts does not equal oops he does it willfully depending on the fact that he feels free to because he feels entitled to he feels entitled to because he feels that he will be able to get away with it that he can beat the system he feels entitled to be the bully who gets away with harassing other people because it has worked that way so far when he gets away with things that no one else would get away with but other persons would have to face and receive the consequences for 
that reinforces the wrong boundaries as if they are the right boundaries and that has helped to create the monster that he is. Even if you are okay with him harassing you, what you've done by forgetting about it like it does not matter is play a part towards him continuing to be able to harass other persons the same way. Are you able to give permission for Frank James do, Frank Jameson to harass other persons the same way? Even if you are okay with him her having harassed you the same way? Wrong. You don't got that. But you are playing a part in reinforcing the wrong boundaries as if they are the right boundaries which has helped to create the monster that he is. He feels that he, those are his right limits, not wrong limits. He doesn't learn that he got away with something that he shouldn't get away with and that that's bad and wrong and he needs to not do it again. He, he has learned that he can keep doing the same way again because he beats the system. It is not right that Frank Jameson beats the system. That can be corrected and should be corrected. The only thing that needs to happen is that the relevant pertin pertinent persons within the law enforcement and the criminal justice system start to be willing to be ready, able, and willing to serve their purpose properly for upholding the law and for justice properly. Instead of what they begrudgingly do now by doing the opposite of law enforcement and protecting a crazy criminal. Because what's more important to them is they do not want to let me get my way as if, it's, as if law enforcement and upholding the law is only a, some kind of personal favor. Or if they have to personally care about it or approve of it. Wrong. It is not those things. Upholding the law is not a personality contest or a popularity contest. It is not asking for a personal favor. It would not be giving me special treatment to start to be willing to serve their purpose properly for law enforcement by properly starting to recognize and address this case properly. Frank Jameson is the one who already has been receiving special treatment by not making him and holding him accountable for his many repeated instances willfully of his criminal violations for eight years. He is the one who is receiving special treatment. Frank Jameson's father, Bill Jameson, real name William Lawrence Jameson of Taylor, Michigan, told me in, he, he skirted taking a right response and responsibility for, for it, and he was defensive, and he told me to go after his son legally. The case that happened in January of 2016 in District 47 in Farmington, Michigan, was dropped, was thrown out of court without prejudice. The case has only gotten stronger ever since there because of the multiple repeated instances every year since then for eight years. To go after him legally is what anyone should be able to do and see through to conclusion as provided for by law. It is not unchristian or unforgiving to stand against wickedness. To, to stand against wickedness. Frank Jensen is not the poor innocent victim. He plays the victim falsely. He wants to be the bully who gets away with harassing other people. He feels entitled to be the bully who gets away with harassing other people. He has expressed that he, in bragging about his mean streak, he has expressed he does not care, he does not give a shit, he does not give a, a, a damn, he does not give a fuck. He has flaunted that he gets away with giving me death threats. He has flaunted, he flaunts and has flaunted that he gets away with giving me threats. He has bragged that the police will do nothing about him threatening me. Just because he feels erroneously, he, just because he feels just because he erroneously, erroneously, falsely, mistakenly feels like he has excuses or justifications does not mean it should actually work like he really does have excuses or justifications. But that's the way it works. It's like being mentally defective is Frank James's superpower. And that's not right. There is no such rule as a, uh, as a fouled up person wrongs you. You have to ignore that and, or endure that or, or let them get away with that. There is no such rule. That is not a rule. There is no moral equivalence to this conflict. There is clear cut right and wrong to this conflict. Frank Jameson is impervious to any sense and reason. 
Frank Jameson is incorrigible and irredeemable. Frank Jameson is oblivious to reality. Frank Jameson is unrepentant. Frank Jameson is is uh, inveterate and unrepentant. There is no moral equivalence to this conflict. There is clear-cut right and wrong to this. It is not a joke. It is not okay to treat Frank Jameson as if he is a spectacle, like a, a freak and a circus freak show for your amusement or entertainment. Do not harass Frank Jameson. Stop harassing Frank Jameson if you are doing so. Do not call him a schizo. Do not taunt him about his psych meds. There is a right way to encourage a person who has psych meds to take them and be, be in compliance. And there is a wrong way to taunt a person who has psych meds to take their meds. Do not call him a schizo. Do not harass him in any way. The things that Frank Jameson has used for excuses or justifications, he has switched around to try to find something that works. Whatever they are, him erroneously feeling justified is not the same thing as a person actually being justified. He was claiming for a while that that uh, my contacting a girl by the name of Mackenzie Marshall when she was a teenager on Facebook, but I contacted everyone that Frank Jameson tagged in a post of the Green Reaper in February of 2015 where he called me a child molester first. He called me that first, that I merely used the, the best... Uh, profile I could for contacting all of those persons, including Mackenzie Marshall, who is not his daughter or stepdaughter, and other persons, to try to get them to remove the posts, where he called me a child molester first. So, so for those reasons, it's not being a child predator. That's one of his excuses. He brought that to his police department in June of 2015. They dropped it two days later. He knows that's not uh, that's a nothing. He, he tries to use my merely having been in contact as a result from seeing on Facebook this young guy, Guillermo Javier Avalon Jr., who used to live in New Jersey then, to send him a, a Miranda Cosgrove DVD. He tries to insinuate I did wrongdoing of some kind with him. And when this this young guy, Guillermo, he has his own significant and serious uh, disorders and disabilities of himself. I never did anything proper with the Guillermo. Frank Jameson insinuates serious wrongdoing. He does more than ins serious insinuations. He does more than name calling of, of calling me a child molester and a child predator. He has posted specific fake accusations against me as well as his death threats. Specific false accusations. It's not just name calling either. There are weaker cases than this one that have been um, investigated and prosecuted through two convictions. If that doesn't matter, what does? What what matters is the status of the victim, more so than the, the crime itself. Uh, nobody's nobody's that get they get the you know moderate level offenses committed against them that are the low level felonies. You're 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 people like me who can be ignored. If it costs more, they don't want to do it. If all those things combined, he's crazy in his interstate, and I'm a nobody that they can ignore. And they don't want to let me get what I want, okay? But do you know if that's serving the purpose of justice properly or not? I bet you didn't. I bet you do know the answer to that. I bet you do know the answer whether the laws that apply to all the rest of us also apply to Frank Jameson or not. I bet you know the answer to that. Does he enjoy some type of legal immunity to legal prosecution? Really, which what would it be? Sovereign immunity. Qualified immunity, prosecutorial immunity. Well, he's not a prosecutor. He's not the sovereign of the state. He's does he have mentally defective immunity? That's the way it kind of works. <laughs> Being mentally defective is Frank Jameson's superpower. No, it should not work that way. <coughs> the criminal justice system is perfectly capable of dealing with mentally ill criminal offenders. They can do that. Okay, go over all of my posts and Frank Jameson's posts here on Instagram. Search for both my name and his name on YouTube to watch videos of and by both myself and himself. Read my many face long Facebook posts. Link in bio to my Facebook account and Facebook profile. He continues to harass people and go out of line with death threats towards people sometimes even after I have been telling him for years that that's criminal and, and that's seriously out of line and criminal. If he is that if he lacks that much sense and lacks that much self-awareness and self-control 
to be unable to comply with the law, but that he's unable to refrain from violating the law as well, he has earned and deserves to lose his freedom in one way or, an, or another. <laughs> you know, laws exist. Law exists for the purpose of protecting society from individuals like him. You just don't like the idea of punishing a person because you don't ever do that anyway. There is no oops to this on Frank Jameson's part. It's not a joke. The people who treat it as if it's a joke are the persons who are a joke. If a, a, a more important person that was better connected was the person who stood up to Frank Jameson from the start, and he gave only some of the harassment and some of the threats from him, this would have been dealt with a long time ago. There are weaker cases than this that have been seen through from investigation through to convict through to prosecutions and convictions. If that does not matter, what does? And I don't want anyone to harass him. I'm telling you to stop harassing him. I even I, I, I have put that out before. I have put out before that it is not okay to treat him. To tr is not uh, I have put out before that it is not okay to treat Frank Jameson as if he is uh, just uh, a spectacle like a freak in a circus freak show for your amusement or entertainment. A thing that young people call uh, being a lao cow, like they have uh, treated uh, other persons like Chris Chan, not his real name, um, or. Uh, Daniel Larson or other persons it's not okay to do that and I'm, I'm telling you to stop harassing Frank Jameson whether that's on social media or emails or phone calls do not harass Frank Jameson but there's no moral equivalence to this conflict between himself and myself there's clear cut right and wrong to it this case uh, does not deserve being ignored and dismissed out of hand this case does deserve being rightly and properly recognized and addressed. The only thing that needs to change is that the pertinent persons in law enforcement and the criminal justice system start being ready, able, and willing to serve their purpose properly for upholding the law and for the serving the purpose of justice properly. If and when that does happen, the people who start looking at it the right way, including accounts on social media that no longer are up, but there are as many posts on them, for Frank Jameson especially, or others, uh, at least a few other uh, YouTube accounts that he had before his current one, and many of his other previous uh, disabled uh, Instagram accounts, and at least several other Facebook accounts before, if and when people start doing it right, <laughs> start being ready, able, and willing to uh, uphold the law properly and serve the purpose of justice properly, if and when a, a proper investigation is done thoroughly, to get at more, they will be able to get at more that do substantiate criminal charges against them, even to include the necessary required element of intent, mens rea, uh, actus rea, guilty act, the crime itself, mens rea, guilty mind, uh, and for threats, the <laughs> necessary required intent is really only the intent to threaten. Okay? So if and when people do in the in law enforcement and the criminal justice system the right people start looking at it rightly with a proper and thorough investigation they're not going to wonder why it's being tr treated criminally to be dealt with that way for the investigation or for a prosecution for a criminal c trial in a court of law they're going to wonder why it took so long before it was recognized and addressed properly I have, I, have, I have no obligation to be nice to Frank Jameson. The nature of this kind of conflict and dispute is that it is adversarial with animosity and enmity. Frank Jameson had plenty of chances to catch himself and correct himself. He wants it to he himself to be right and to win. He believes I've committed crimes. He, wants, he accuses me of being a child predator or of harassing himself. For one reason or another, this case should be investigated thoroughly through to, conclu through to conclusion. It's not a joke. And do not call Frank Jameson schizophrenic or schizo or taunt him about his psych meds. That's not okay. Do not harass him in any other ways as well.
<clears throat> so thank you for watching and listening. I am Lawrence Albert Connor in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I am originally from Connecticut. Okay. I was born in May of 1966. I am 57 now. This is the evening of Thursday, May 25th, 2023. I have been talking about my offender, my mentally ill offender who is already a criminal, who is already a convicted felon, Frank William Jameson of Michigan, who recently, uh, who for a number of years and up till recently used to live in and reside within Farmington, Farmington Hills, Michigan, but I have reason to believe he probably moved to somewhere else. But Frank William Jameson of Michigan is my offender. He was born in July of 1978. He will be turning 45 years old a couple of months from now in July of 2023. It's not a joke. It uh, deserves being looked into properly to rightly and properly recognize this case and address it properly. I need honest and truthful corroboration to help make that happen and no one can get in trouble for doing so and I am not wrong for asking for that thank you for watching watch and listen again if needed share this video with someone else as well tell others that you know about this tell others that are older than yourself about this conflict to share it with them to show it to them including our social media accounts and posts on all of them instagram youtube facebook twitter i'm on twitter and frank frank jameson also is on twitter we're in all we are in all four of those main ones and so thank you for watching share this uh share this uh, issue and subject with other persons you know closely preferably for most of you who are young with persons who are significantly older than yourself thank you again I appreciate my supporters who are real supporters. I know that many of my followers are just spectators, but I cannot help that. Thanks again. I'm going to end this now. It is 8.05 p.m. Eastern Time. On the evening of Thursday, May 25th, 2023. Lawrence Albert Connor in Virginia Beach. I am originally from Connecticut. Thanks again. It's not a joke. Don't harass Frank Jameson. I only want honest and truthful corroboration. Do not harass Frank Jameson. Thank you.